Now, the IRS estimates that nearly $1.5 billion of refunds remains unclaimed because people have yet to file their tax returns. The median refund is $893 for the year, according to the agency. Taxpayers have until July 17th to file their 2019 tax return. This reflects the three-year limitation date as the crisis pushed back the 2019 filing date by three months. Under the law, lawmakers and taxpayers generally have years to file and claim their tax refunds. That's if you don't even file a return within three years. The money becomes the property of the U.S. Treasury Department. And now, if you reside in the state of New Mexico, keep an eye out on your bank account. The New Mexico governor says that the latest round of rebates will go out mid-June. Thanks to a bill passed by lawmakers during the legislative session, New Mexico people have previously filed taxes and will get another round of rebates. Single tax filers will get $500. Married couples will get more. And taxpayers who use direct deposit when filing their tax returns will get the latest round of rebate checks automatically via direct deposit. If you moved here since 2021, you should update your address online via the Taxation and Revenue Department's Taxpayer Access Point. Now, for those, everybody in the United States of America, well, the Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that the consumer prices climbed 5% in March, down from 6%. The latest inflation reading represents a ninth straight month of easing price growth on an annual basis, and it's down from 9% high last June. But it's still well above the Federal Reserve's 2% target, among the key categories still seeing outsized pace growth, and now it's climbing 8.5% from March 2022 to March 2023, which hit 8.3% growth. As a result, cooling inflation won't really have proved much about solace to consumers in its demand that the Fed is aiming to address by the raising interest rates. Food and rent are among the categories that continue to have the largest price increase. Food prices already climbed 10%. In the same month, rents had their largest one-month increase on record, climbing 8.2%, and rent data is even considering a lagging indicator, meaning surveys are slower to capture real-time changes because most leases are at a 12-month long. We have a ton of good news about the Ford stimulus check, Social Security benefits, SSI, and SDI. I'm ready to see what President Biden could do for you folks, and let's see what he could do for the American people. Hopefully he can do what he promised us and send out the fourth stimulus check. Now first of all, the weather is heating up and so are gas prices. AAA has reported that the national average for a gallon of gas rose 8 cents last week, and now it's up to $3.66 a gallon. Now, oil prices initially got a boost early in April, which and now surprisingly announced that it would cut production starting in May by about a million dollars per day. This is news from the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. This past Thursday, oil rose further after the International Energy Agency predicted global oil demand will climb by 2 million barrels a day. What are we doing? What is the world community doing to make sure that every person on Earth, no matter how poor, are? All right, let me go to a subject which I think as a nation we don't discuss enough, and that is long than the problem and perhaps deal with it over a period of time. Schumer has just announced that he is going to bring a $35 cap on parents' insulin costs back up for a vote, after Republicans blocked it over this past weekend. But we shouldn't be shipping them to just anyone overseas either. In fact, companies need license from the federal government. These are called export licenses. By putting the Commerce Department in charge instead of the State Department, where those permissions had always resided. During an interview on MSNBC, Schumer said they blocked the $35 price for insulin for non-Medicare people. We're going to come back and make them vote on that again. Schumer, however, did not specify whether he would bring the $35 cap up by itself or as part of a larger bipartisan bill with Susan Collins. Now, Senate Republican Chuck Grazley reported that he would support a $35 cap if it came up again. Now, he wrote on a Twitter post, Trillion dollar swing. As Obama comes in first year, he reduces the deficit, which is what contributes to national debt, by 700 million, uh, excuse me, 700 billion dollars. Are stimulus checks going to be sent out immediately? Well, there's, has been, there's been new released information on $2,000 stimulus checks. The lawmakers are now negotiating on $100 stimulus payments. The gas prices are soaring nationwide, and AAA reports that the national average cost of a gallon of gas hit $5.16 as of June 14th. This is the all time record high price. And since many people cannot eliminate gasoline usage or even significantly cut down their fuel costs, these surging prices have hit hard. 
As a result, lawmakers are naturally considering ways to provide relief, including potentially sending out another stimulus payment. Proposals to help the public cope with gas prices exist at the federal level, as well as in some states. One plan put forth on the federal level, for example, is called the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. It would, provide a re it would provide a monthly rebate during any month when the national average cost of gas is $4 or more. The rebate would last to the end of 2022 and would total $100 per adult and per dependent for single filers earning less than $75,000 or joint filers earning less than $150,000. It would phase out at higher income levels with single filers getting no rebate once their income topped $80,000 and married drunk fathers are losing the rebate with an income of $160,000 or higher. Now, state plans exist in certain locations because in early June, for example, North Carolina Democrats put forth a plan to send money to residents via check or debit card. The money would come in the form of a $200 rebate to North Carolina residents and would be available by October 1st to anyone who is 18 or over. Now, this is a bit different from the past stimulus checks that have come from the federal government because those were able to be deposited into people's bank accounts if they provided the information and while these payments would come in the form of a debit card or check only. So the child tax credit in 2022 will return to conditions offered by the IRS before the, American, before the American Rescue Plan expanded it. The amount of the credit is smaller, and eligibility is more restricted than last year. The rules, under the rules which were established through the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, these changes will be in effect through the 2025, 2025 fiscal year if no action is taken by Congress to modify the credit before then. A big change to help many families last year was instead of receiving monthly installments on the credit they did from July to December of 2021, the money will be distributed in the form of a single tax credit which will reduce the size of the recipient's tax bill or increase their tax refund. Taxpayers with eligible children will be able to claim a credit worth up to $2,000 per child and this year the credit is partially refundable and there is an earnings threshold to be able to start claiming it up to be able to start claiming up to $1,400 portion known as the additional child tax credit. Taxpayers who owe less in taxes than a refundable amount will have it added to their tax refund. The non-refundable portion will reduce taxes owed dollar for dollar. The 2022 child tax credit is available to parents with dependents under the age of 17 at the end of the year. December 31st, 2022, and who meets certain eligibility requirements. And under the credit, children ages 17 were eligible for the full amount of the much larger 2021 child tax credit. Many studies have linked the 12-month child tax credit expansion to a decrease in child poverty and first-hand accounts for those who received the payments occurred. Uh, who opposed me on that score. I do, I, I always, when people have a suggestion, I say, does it create jobs? Does it create jobs, does it, and does it reduce the deficit? The national debt, I mean, let's go bigger, the national debt. So uh, I, I'm... And, and we Approximately 666,000 frontline workers are eligible to receive this check, and it will be determining, and it will determine who receives the bonus payments. If all eligible workers.